Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Smoked Pulled Ham. I've cooked ham a lot of different ways over the years, but most of the time when you're cooking a ham, what you're really doing is you're just reheating an already smoked cured ham that you've bought from the store. Now, of course, you can go much deeper and cure your own, but for the most part, when you buy a ham, it's already cooked, it's already smoked, and you're just bringing it back up to temperature to serve it warm, maybe garnishing it up with a nice glaze or some dry rub or something like that. But today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of just warming it back up, we're gonna cook it all the way through, just like you would a pork butt when you're making pulled pork. So what happens when you go beyond that 165 reheating temperature all the way to like 205, 210, is that ham's now shredding apart just like pulled pork. So you've got that awesome texture of pulled pork, but you've got all of the flavor of a smoked cured ham. So first things first, ham selection. This is about an eight pound ham right here. Bone in, but not spiral cut and that's really important. That spiral cut's gonna mess up the shredding of the ham, so make sure you get one that's not yet cut. Now we're gonna add a little bit of binder here in the form of our Cattleman's Grill Pit Fire hot sauce. Uh, not a spicy hot sauce, just a uh, tangy, a nice tangy hot sauce and a great base. Something for this seasoning to grab onto. And the seasoning we're using is the Yoder Smokers pork rub. You want something with a little bit of sweetness to it, because let's be honest, ham is already salty, so there's no point in just piling on a super salty rub. Um, this one is gonna have some salt in it, obviously it's barbecue rub, uh, but that's the reason why we're gonna go kinda light with the dry rub. We're also gonna be able to treat this. When we wrap it later, we're gonna be add a little bit of sweetness, a little fruit juice. At this point, you're ready to put this ham onto the smoker. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna do this a little bit special way. We're gonna do this the lazy way today. Honestly, this has become my favorite way to cook big meats is what I like to do is fire up the smoker to about 190 degrees, super low and slow. And I'm gonna put this on right before I go to bed. So last night, say at about 9.30, 10 o'clock, I put a ham on at home, 190. That thing smoked for a good nine to 10 hours at 190, came up to an internal of about 150 to 160, got a really great bark on it. And then I'm able to turn that smoker up to 275, 300 degrees and wrap it. And that's where you're gonna see next when we head over to the grill. We've already got one that's been on all night long, so you know that all that's happened is eight to 10 hours of smoke and it's come up to temperature. Right now we're gonna check on our ham that's been on the smoker all night long. So sitting at 190, that's the pit temperature for the last 10 hours or so, this ham's just been soaking up the smoke and slowly coming up to an internal temperature of about 150 to 160. It's got this great dark, beautiful color on it. Soaked up a lot of smoke overnight. At this point, what we want to do, though, is get it wrapped up with some pineapple juice to kind of braise for the rest of this cook. So I want to place this ham down on two sheets of heavy-duty foil so that we don't lose anything, we don't break through anywhere. We're going to turn up the edges here so we can add our liquid. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of pineapple juice. So kind of sweeten this up as it tenderizes and breaks down. And then about two tablespoons of our Cattleman's Grill Pit Fire hot sauce, which, uh, as you guys may know, not super spicy, just tangy with a nice bite. Make sure we get this fully covered on top. Wrapped up nice and tight so all those, all those juices are pushed right to the meat and it can kind of braise and all that delicious liquid. Now I've raised the grill temperature to 300 degrees to finish out this cook. We'll put our probe back in there, close it up, and let it finish cooking. The ham has been wrapped up and finishing its cook for the last two to two and a half hours. We've got a lot of juices gathered in the bottom here. Some of that's pineapple juice, some of that's ham juice. Our internal temperature has gotten, oh boy, that is, you don't even need to know the internal temperature. Just probing it alone will tell you that that is tender and done, but that's up over 205, creeping up on 210 in the warmer spots. So this is essentially done. But what we're gonna do just to finish this off, is so we're gonna hit this with some of our Firebug Mild grilling sauce. So this is a barbecue sauce that's got some berries in it. So again, we're, we're adding more fruit flavor. Fruit and ham always go well together. We get that whole top covered with some sauce, brush that around. And then we're just gonna let this hang out and rest in a cooler for about half an hour before we shred it up. So I'm gonna loosely close this back up and then transfer it over to a little cooler. This is just gonna make sure that we keep all that heat that we've built so far 
throw a couple towels in there as well. And we'll be ready to shred that in about 30 minutes. Well, this thing is rested and ready to shred. We're gonna get some of these bones out of here. Little blade bone slides right out. That's how you know it's done. Look at this thing, just wants to fall apart immediately. I'm gonna look out for any other little bones that are hanging out in there. It smells awesome right now. I've got cottons underneath my nitriles. So it makes it really easy just to shred this up by hand. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Still plenty hot, even through the cottons. We wanna toss this all through that juice in the bottom of the foil pack. This stuff shreds up really beautifully. We got some nice bigger chunks in there too if you prefer to serve them that way. But this, on a dinner roll, with a little bit more barbecue sauce, we're switching things up for the holidays this year. Work that sauce into the meat. Now you got sauce on the outside, sauce on the inside. Let's get a taste. That's crazy. It's got the texture of pulled pork, but it's got all the flavor of a cured ham. It's salty, which is why we don't put too much of that rub on in the first place. But it's balanced out a bit by the sweetness of the pineapple juice and then of course the barbecue sauce. Mmm, fantastic flavor. Juices are just flowing right now. Really cool alternative to your holiday ham. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.